seven years, I dreamt of you. <laughs> Year before last at our iHeart Radio Music Festival, I had the uh, awesome opportunity to co-present with the entire cast of the It movie. And here we are two, la- two years later. Uh, now, September 6th in theaters is It Chapter 2, and we have the director of this awesome, scary movie, It Chapter 2, Andres Muchetti. I messed Very up your good. name again, didn't I? No, it's, it's, it's pretty, that's pretty, pretty good. Enrique, thank you for having me. Thank you for coming in. Uh, you know I'm, I'm afraid of, uh, of, of scary movies, but this is really awesome. You're the perfect audience. I am, I'm, I'm the one that you want to go see your movie. <laughs> <clears throat> you did an awesome uh, job casting the, 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 the first chapter. Now chapter two, Bill Hader from you know, Saturday Night Live from Superbad. Of course, of course James uh, McAvoy from Split, from Glass. He's a genius. Um, you, you just moved to the States five years ago with your project uh, Mama that had a lot of... Mm-hmm. Uh, was very scary too. <laughs> um, as an immigrant, I think this is you're you're an awesome immigrant story. I can't complain. To be honest, you know, I get I I got here with uh, having made Mama. It was a co-production, uh, but it was you know with the help of Guillermo del Toro. Uh, my sister produced it, and Guillermo, you know, helped the you know put the pieces together. Congrats, produced it too. Congrats, Guillermo, on his uh, Hollywood uh, yeah, walk Guillermo of fame was, on his star. Was amazing. Yeah, absolutely. I was there. Uh, sweating. It was very hot. It was very hot. From, from the pictures, I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and yes, that was, you know, that was my first step. Uh, and then I sort of, you know, started dancing with the movie industry, which was something that I I, I, I didn't know how it worked, but I, I learned a lot about it. And um, one thing led to the other. I got engaged in, in several projects. Uh, some of, of those didn't work. Some of, of those of the others did when you enter development, you you know you don't know where where you you know where you start, but you don't know where you're gonna end. But it's part of the of how the industry works, uh, and it happened. And um, it's incredibly lucky, you know. I have a st- uh, also a, a history with it. It's one of my favorite books, uh, and uh, I, I grew up with Stephen King. So for me, it was incredibly uh, important. Chapter one takes place in 1989. This is 27 years later. The Losers Club gets back together because they receive a phone call, a scary phone call. Pennywise comes back into their lives. Pennywise comes back. Uh, the only loser that stayed in town is Mike Hanlon. Uh, Mike was a farm uh, a kid, uh, homeschool. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, he, he stayed in town, and he's mm-hmm. now the librarian. He did research for all those 27 years to figure out how to kill it. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised if, that uh, Pennywise figured out how to use a phone. <laughs> but he did. <laughs> the story takes place in 2016, actually, because, as you know, 1989 plus 27 is 2016, so it's not quite the present date, but um, it's, uh, yeah, it's exactly 27 years, like in the book. Um, and the, so the losers are summoned. They all, you know, they, all these characters, they forgot what happened. They're all very successful uh, in their professional lives, but they're essentially damaged, Mm -hmm. broken people. Um, Is chapter two Mm -hmm. darker than chapter one? It is. It is. It has a different different perspective. You know, chapter one is uh, is seen through the eyes of of kids, so the perspective is very much from that that point of view. the second one is told through the eyes of, of adults. So a little bit what happens when you're reading the book, like I did. It's, uh, I read it when I was like 13, 14 years old, and then I reread it when I was like 40-something uh, because I had to make the movie, so I, I wanted to like refresh it in my mind. And so the, the book, in my heart, it had like, I, I had like an emotional experience with the book uh, from my memories. Um, that was very, very, very useful and helpful for uh, for translating into a movie, the first movie. Now the second part, I draw from my second read, my second like uh, you know reading of the book, which is uh, gives you a different understanding of the story, um, and sort of completes what the story is about. You know, it's a story about adults that are trying to remember what happened uh, to them. Uh, in that summer, uh, they need to remember. They need to understand what 
the original trauma is mm -hmm. not so much in the book but in this movie it, it, this this second movie is about trauma um, and how how these uh, characters deal with it Andres Muschietti <clears throat> I got it right this time Muschietti 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 Sorry. Muschietti I will never forget that Andres Muschietti and I'm looking forward to the day you receive your star on the Hollywood Walk of, of Fame I'd like I'd like to be there to, to, <laughs> a, to you. applaud you I don't know about that, but thank you of course Hopefully. why not <laughs> of course Todo lo mejor, Andrés. Gracias. Gracias, Enrique. Thank you.